This is Alaska, right at that pivotal fleeting moment when the seasons are shifting. You can feel it all around, from the chill in the air to the crunch of the falling leaves. There is a sense of urgency to the land, plants and animals alike in their final mad scramble before winter sets in and the world goes into a deep, cold slumber. We are here at one of our favorite wild camping spots along the Seward Highway. The highway cuts like a ribbon along Upper Trail Lake, a glacially fed lake nestled deep in the heart of the Kenai Peninsula. This tiny piece of land jutting into the lake has been home for a few days now as we await the perfect day to take you on a little adventure with us. There is a hike along this stretch of the Seward Highway, one often overlooked by visitors. It is short, but very quickly transports you to the Alaskan backcountry. We have a feeling it will be the perfect place for you to come with us, sink in, and witness for yourself the land in this fleeting form. Come with us on the Carter Lake Trail. Join us in discovering something quite unexpected at the end of the trail. And most of all, come immerse yourself in a brief and beautiful moment within the Alaskan wild. Let's first begin by taking a little more time to soak up the beauty of the trail lakes on this day. The mist stretching and pulling like gauze across the mountains is enough to take your breath away. When scenes like this come along, you stop what you're doing and you take it in. As the Seward Highway cuts and curves through the Kenai Peninsula, it passes by many lakes and ponds, testament to the incredible amount of precipitation the region receives. But many who drive this scenic roadway have no idea that there are many more lakes just hidden from view, high up and filling the subalpine valleys that wait just on the other side of these dominating slopes. The way to reach them is to hike. a beautiful autumn day here on the Kenai Peninsula. We're gonna head up Carter Lake Trail. We've never been up this one, so we're really curious to see what it looks like up there, especially in these beautiful fall colors. Trail registers are a simple and yet powerful tool for tracking the use of public lands. They keep backcountry users up to date with any warnings or current hazards, and they provide key information for search and rescue crews if something happens out there. And with our hiking plans now logged in the register, we head out. The Carter Lake Trail is about 40 minutes from Seward, and the trail itself is about 3.7 miles there and back. It gains around 1,100 feet in elevation, and most of that is right at the beginning. The first 1.5 miles of the trail is a steep and winding switchback starting on an old Jeep road. So we are in the Chugach National Forest right now, and it's crazy to think that in about a month, this is going to be getting its first real snow. And then shortly after that, a heck of a lot more. We are making our way up one of those sloping mountainsides, as if to prove that we have to earn the subalpine meadow that awaits us on the other side. But to be honest, the colorful show being put on all around us is wholly distracting, so much that we barely notice the climb. 
The thing is, right now, the natural beauty here is not just in the wide, sweeping mountainscapes and the grandeur of this place. Perhaps even more than that, it is in the smallest things around us. Oftentimes, we human beings are so bent on where we are headed and the big picture that we forget to take note of the beauty to be found when we stop and look close. The light through the leaves, the microcosm of the forest floor, all the ways the land is signaling that it is almost time to rest for a while. Creeks begin to cross the path, indicating a water source above. Of course, we know this. We are headed to a subalpine lake, after all. The waterways of the Kenai Peninsula ebb and flow with the seasons, so dependent on snowpack, rain, and melting glacial ice. The moist airs of the Pacific Ocean collide with these mountains, unloading significant precipitation year-round. When it comes to water, these mountains are a land of plenty. So we're just walking along, chatting, and all of a sudden Jose goes, whoa, look at that. And uh, it's crazy. We're not even up that high, and it looks like winter might be arriving a little sooner than I thought. Seeing what may be the very first frost makes us realize how lucky we are in the timing of our little sojourn up the mountain. We really have arrived just in time to capture that moment of transition between two different worlds. Between the time of frantic growth and near endless daylight and the frozen world of deep winter. We are here witnessing this ecosystem as it balances on a knife's nice edge between two drastically different forms. And with that, this is where I step back and let you simply be here, taking in these scenes for yourself. It's happening! Check this out. Ice. This is needle ice. It forms when the air temperature drops below freezing, but the soil remains above freezing. Liquid water in the soil rises to the surface through capillary action and freezes in long, thin columns. It is fascinating to see it up close. With so much wonder along the way, the 1.5 mile climb goes by in a flash. And before we know it, we are emerging from the forest into a thicket of low shrubs and thick undergrowth. Peaks of the Kenai Mountains tower in every direction, dusted in an early snow. The steep part of the trail is now behind us, and we finally enter into the world hidden from the view of the Seward Highway. Where the highway snakes below is about 470 feet in elevation. We are now at nearly 1,500 feet in elevation. 
it's as if we have stepped up one rung in the ladder of the Kenai Mountains. We are now in a wide open subalpine meadow and it's an absolutely gorgeous day. Carter Lake is small, only about two-thirds of a mile long and a fifth of a mile wide. It is stocked with rainbow trout, making us wish we had brought our poles. Though, as you know from episode 23, our freezer is stocked with so much wild salmon, we're pretty set on the fish front. If we were to continue on this trail, we would actually come across the much larger Crescent Lake, which wraps around Wrong Mountain like a perfect crescent moon. The hike to Carter Lake usually only takes about an hour, give or take. We often take much more time than that on trails because, well, we are constantly stopping to film. We inch closer to the lake, unaware that a little surprise awaits us just along the water's edge. There's a canoe. Now when it comes to public use resources that help enrich folks' experience of wild spaces, Alaska really does a great job. This public use canoe tucked along the banks of Carter Lake is just one example. I think this is the perfect place to stop for a picnic and maybe even take out that canoe. It'd be awesome. The stillness out here is like a balm. Just the sound of the creek flowing into Carter Lake, the gentle lapping of the water on the gravel bank, and the wind in the mountains. Do you ever have those moments when you are just so aware that you are living an experience that you will desperately miss in the future? When we leave Alaska and continue our journey to Argentina, the memory of places like this will be sweet and honestly, a little heart-wrenching. It's hard to leave a place like Alaska. when you don't want people to steal paddles? <laughs> you make paddles that they probably don't want to steal. <laughs> this one is made from one of the seats. Oh, oh, that means, yeah. This one is made from one of the seats of the canoe. And I don't even know what that is. but it's very clever. This is what you do when you don't want somebody stealing your paddles. We don't care if it's 
Bottle is so heavy. Ooh. They actually work pretty well, considering. You want to try this one? <laughs> talk about it. <laughs> you look like you're paddling a canoe or something. Dark. So how's that puddle doing? It is pretty darn good considering. I feel like it's a toilet seat cover, but it's not. But it might be. But it works perfect for that. Alright, you got us you got us in the middle of the lake. People are amazing. I love people. <laughs> it has been a beautiful day out here in the mountains. This year has been unusually rainy, even for this part of Alaska. So we are darn grateful we got such a bright, clear autumn day for our hike. In our opinion, Carter Lake Trail is a perfect day hike along the Seward Highway. Fairly short, yet so quickly you find yourself surrounded by pure, wild Alaska. The moment the sun dipped beneath the mountains, the temperature started dropping rapidly. It's like one final reminder of the dramatic shift in season just around the bend. Without the warmth of direct sunlight, a deep chill is quickly filling the air and penetrating our light hiking layers. It is definitely time to head back to the warmth of our home on wheels. Back at our camping spot, the cold sets in and the world goes still. It feels like something is just on the horizon. And sure enough, the next morning, the snow line has crept even farther down the mountainsides.
there is a lesson in the changing of the seasons, a reminder that it's okay to take times of rest and that each ending is really just the beginning of something new. A month ago, we set out with a mission to find and capture the colors of autumn in Alaska. Here along the Seward Highway, we found them, but they have been sparse. These forests are so dominated by spruce and hemlock that color-changing deciduous trees have only pockets and slivers to flourish within. We told you that when we started out, we were on a mission to capture a heart-stopping sight, an entire landscape set afire with color. Time is almost up, and we have one final place to go where we just might find exactly that. In the meantime, we will spend one more day here taking in the colors peppered along the edges of Upper Trail Lake. And then, as the evening comes and the sun prepares to set, we will charge up all our filming gear in preparation for tomorrow. It's our last shot, the last hurrah. We hope the land will give us just one final show next time on Art We There Yet. Hey guys, if you enjoy this video, be sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, send us a comment below, and for exclusive content and a behind the scenes view of the Art We There Yet journey, join us on Patreon. See you over on Patreon.